So your first port of call will be support.ptc.com where you can access all the information and all the details you'll need for your account. A lot of our customers contact us in relation to their licensing when they are going through changing their workstation, possibly upgrading, possibly it's coming to the end of its serviceable life. So let's go through the process of moving your license from your existing workstation to your new machine. Okay, so back to PTC support and we go to the manage licenses link as we saw earlier on. This brings up this new page that we saw and the easiest way of doing it is to go to the license actions here and go to the advanced search. Now at this point you want to put in your existing host ID of your current machine. Okay, you can find that using your command prompt in Windows and typing in get Mac if required. Put in the host ID of the current license and then press search. This will bring in all of the licenses, all the license aspects on that current machine of yours. Scrolling down you can see here all the product descriptions with the product label there, the support end date etc. Further at the bottom of the page we have some more tools here. You can deinstall your license from here. You can also rev up your license to the most recent version of Creo. So for example if Creo 9 is released halfway through your year subscription you can rev the license up to ensure it fits in with the requirements of the most recent release of Creo there. What we're going to do here is we're going to move the license. We're going to move it from the existing machine to your new machine. To do this you select all the license aspects that you wish to move. To select all of them, you can click in this top checkbox here on the left. This activates the Move License button here. We simply select that. And you've got all the different aspects of the products you've got on there. And you can select how many of each you wish to move at this point. Okay, In most likelihoods it's going to be all of them, realistically. Once you've done that, you can then put in your new host ID. The host name. And then you can either select zip or text file. You then press move license here and you receive your license by email. And then you can simply go through the installation process that we looked at earlier on. Okay, so a simple process to work through to ensure that all your licenses are managed correctly. Now, as you've seen, managing your career licenses and software is a relatively straightforward process and really is something that can be managed and administered fairly easily. Installing licenses, downloading your career software, using your existing config.profile and moving your license from one machine to another is not really a daunting process. However, if we think back to the start of the webinar, there are of course some questions that need to be answered before you make any major changes. As I mentioned, Creo is not backwards compatible, so always ensure that any team members, other affected parties such as teams on other sites, contractors or suppliers are aware that you're planning to make the change. Creo 8 can of course open Creo 4 files, for example, but not the other way around. More modern versions of Creo and the more complex and sophisticated features and functionality naturally require equally competent hardware, for example running a simulation, creating generative design or handling complex lattice structures do necessitate a computer with high level graphics card capabilities, plenty of RAM and an up to date operating system in the background. Each release of Creo will incorporate a checklist of hardware notes, including system requirements, supported graphics cards and other peripherals. If you have any questions about these, don't hesitate to get in touch with us. Also hugely important to bear in mind is compatibility with any existing software you might have running alongside your current installation of Creo. Perhaps you have a copy of Keyshot or another rendering program. It's certainly worth checking compatibility with these. 
And finally, it's imperative if you have wind chill or any other product lifetime management implementation that you ensure compatibility with it before making any changes. Again, please get in touch if you have any questions regarding this. We'll be happy to offer guidance. So hopefully this will have given you a useful overview of administering your CAD software and licenses. Do look out for upcoming webinars and check our website to access previous ones that you can view on demand. So many thanks and goodbye.